Welcome back, Particle People. Today we're doing something a little bit different and we're going to debunk some misinformation floating around on the internet, specifically pertaining to Pokemon fun facts. Or as I'd call them, Pokemon unfun unfacts. Now initially I only saw a few of these floating around on TikTok and YouTube shorts, but recently I've seen more and more people spewing this information, so I'm gonna get right to the source of where these lies started and debunk them one by one. Let's start with this first video and tell me if you can spot the lies. Pokemon fun fact. Did you know Squirtle is the world's first? Steel type. First introduced in Generation 3, Squirtle broke onto the scene as the first ever Steel type and Steel starter. While being the fan favorite, he was easily countered by Bulbasaur and his signature move, Jet Fuel. Be sure to follow for more Pokemon fun facts. Jet Fuel is not a move, and Squirtle certainly is not a Steel type, so I think it's pretty easy to delineate that this is satire. But as we go on, I think they become a bit more convincing. We may have lost a few people here and there. Like this next one, I'm pretty sure it could fool a few people who don't know anything about Pokemon, like some older individuals looking to get something for their kids. Most people know the game's name is Pokemon, but did you know that? originally stood for Pocket Mouse? Because initially there was only going to be one Pokemon, and that was Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. I admit that I found that funny not actually showing Pikachu the whole time, and we all know that it's Pocket Monsters, but I did see at least a few people in the comments of this one actually thinking this was real. Or maybe they were just pretending to think it was real, because it's really hard to delineate between people being satirical themselves and people being sincere on the internet. This Nick short seems to have confused a lot more people though, so we're starting to really blur the lines of truth here. Did you know that circuitry is the only grass electric type in the game? As the rarest legendary introduced in Generation 9, the developers definitely thought they had to give him a special typing. With a name like Zirka Tree, I definitely understand how people could think it's a grass electric type, but it is pure electric, and it didn't come out in Generation 9. I think this is definitely one of the more convincing ones. Although I gotta admit, the next one's probably my favorite, because it goes from a realm of partial believability to off the rails in about four seconds. Did you know Generation 2 was supposed to be the very last generation in Pokemon? This is where it's almost got me. For a second, you got me? I'm like, really? Are you gonna tell me something to back that up? That was until a mysterious benefactor left $6.9 million worth of Peter Pan brand peanut butter outside of the Nintendo headquarters. That is literally Guy Fieri. This also had a haunting note which said, make another Pokemon game. I'll do it again. Do you even fathom how much peanut butter that would be? The ridiculousness here is adorable, and I do love it. So if you ever believed this, well, well don't. That, that's silly. You know the popular Pokemon, Sharpedo, is actually based off of both a shark and a tomato. That's why it has such a round figure, even though it's quick in the water. Do I need to say anything at this point, or has everyone figured it out here? It's definitely in my top ten favorite water grass types. With clips like this one that I'm showing here, you might be wondering why I'm even bothering to put this in a debunking video. This one seems more like rage bait than something that actually needs to be challenged, but I have seen a few suspicious individuals from that point refer to Sharpedo as a grass water type, so I figured I'd bring it up. He's not. He's just not, okay? He's water and he's dark type. He's he, no, no grass in there, although that'd be cool. And where does the tomato even come in? I'm very lost. But I think past number five is when this creator really starts putting in kernels of truth to make the lies seem more believable, even if it is still ridiculous. RK9 was originally supposed to be a legendary Pokemon. That's the modicum of truth here, because he was shown by the legendary birds in the anime. It's easy to draw this conclusion. However, they ditched the idea when they realized they accidentally put in the number nine, which means if they went through with the idea, he would have been RK Quattro, and I don't think that flows off the tongue as well. This entire unfun unfact was made to joke about the number four in Spanish. If the silliness of that alone doesn't prove to you that it's false, I don't know what will. Did you know this Pokemon's name is pronounced like Delivered? It kind of sounds like Delivered, get it? It's the Christmas Pokemon. As far as I know, that is also true. See, he's getting you in here with a modicum of truth so you then believe the obvious lie that's coming next. And also, this Pokemon's name is pronounced Mr. Rime, based off of the famous Richard Rime, who helped develop Pokemon to what it is today. Despite that being Gordon Ramsay, from the famous Hell's Kitchen, it is entirely a fictitious name as well, because there is no Mr. Rime. And you might be wondering, why am I even bothering to draw attention to this? Because it's actually all about the delivery. I'm sorry, the delivery. The bird's still in my head. This guy is obviously putting emphasis and silly pictures on the screen, so you know these things are falsehoods. However, if someone were to take a piece of this information, or even a fraction of the video, and remove some of the context, that's when the information can become a little bit harder to decipher of what's true and what's false. Did you know Charmander's original final form looked like this? Unfortunately, this version of Charizard wasn't acceptable in the times due to the Barney protests of 2002, which we all remember happened because Barney decided to say that Coke was better than Pepsi, and not very many people agreed at the time. Okay, despite what I just said about context and, you know, delivery, this one doesn't really matter. There's not a single soul who's gonna believe this one, right? Right? Pokemon, fun fact. Did you know they had to tone down the designs of Octillery and Remoraid because they originally looked too much like firearms? I mean, Octillery was initially supposed to be like a tank. I suppose it's kind of a firearm. The same thing happened to Hatterene's original design because somebody started calling it Mommy, so they went back to the drawing board. I'm gonna be honest, there's people out there calling it mommy right now, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was true, just not something that has ever been confirmed.
confirmed. So this could be real, however, it has never been confirmed by Pokemon. This next one almost seems real because of the recent Pokemon leak that was absolutely disgusting. However, this is also just not confirmed anywhere. Pokemon, fun fact. Most people believe Ash Ketchum's father never shows up in the anime, but he actually does if you look close enough. You see, Ash Ketchum is 50% mime, and as being 50% mime, it's kind of a Pinocchio thing. He always wants to be a real trainer, and that's why he strives so hard to be number one, to catch them all, because he wants to prove that he's not just a Pokemon. Once again, that recent leak makes it so this actually could be true, although once again not confirmed, although I kind of wish it was, and personally this is headcanon. To me, he will always be 50% mime. At this point, we've got most of the silly, goofy ones out of the way. This next one has convinced a lot of people, and I've seen reposts on both Reddit and Twitter about it, but it is not real. Let's take it apart. Most people know that Pikachu evolves into Raichu, but not everyone knows Raichu is supposed to evolve into Gorochu. As far as I'm aware, this part is true. Raichu was supposed to evolve into Gorochu, but that was scrapped before the game finished development. The same way that Galvantula was initially supposed to evolve into Galvantular. Once again, entirely a hoax. If you look at that tail, it actually comes off a Tyrantrum, and they added on some pin in fact, this Galvantula, as it's called, is just a really bad Photoshop made by somebody who was several years out of practice. And I can even prove that they're several years out of practice. I happen to know the exact identity of the idiot who created this. So I'm not going to dox anybody here, but I'm certainly going to illuminate who this individual is in this next hoax video, this unfun unfact here. Real quick, let's watch this next one together. Pokemon Fun Fact Did you know that Dodrio is the only Pokemon to have three active typings? You see, most people think think that Dodrio is only flying and normal type, but it turns out it's actually flying, normal, and fighting type. Go ahead, check your Pokedex. It turns out I was the villain all along, having seeds of misinformation, corrupting the internet with Pokemon unfun unfacts. So let me explain why I made this stupid video in the first place, as well as all of these shorts. And yeah, I recognize it's a really stupid idea to debunk your own content that was all supposed to be a joke in the first place, so much so that my recent uploads of these things are called unfun unfacts, with a description that says, this isn't real, please don't believe it. I'm not convinced for a moment that anyone is actually believing the information from my videos specifically because I am so satirical with their delivery as well as marking them as satire. Two things can emerge from these joke videos, one good and one not so good. The not so good one's already here and everywhere on my TikTok feed, so we'll go over that one first. And that's that people are taking my quote unquote fun facts and reposting them in other places without the context that it's just satire. I think either changing the delivery or putting it in text so the delivery is removed entirely can cause this to be a little bit of a problem, especially amongst the younger generation. So don't do that. It, these are jokes. Don't, don't think they're real. However, there could be some good upsides in the future looking forward as I continue to make these videos, and that is we might be able to confuse AI. I've heard that artificial intelligence likes to pull from YouTube videos to write articles online. I'm hoping that if we can spread this crap around far enough and we all know it's a joke, it may not know it's a joke, and then somebody might post a stupid article on one of my stupid fun facts. So spread those shorts like the plague so we can confuse artificial intelligence and we'll all be on the inside of the joke instead of the outside. And please, for the love of God, just don't believe everything you see. There are so many fake doctors and fake scientists all over TikTok and YouTube spreading just bullshit information all over the place. And it's all in the delivery, so if people aren't satirical and throwing in funny references and pictures, you may believe it. But just be careful, double check everything before you act on it. Okay, bye, this has been Sanford Days on Course, and I get everywhere. Bye bye now.